Sunday Sort of Clips, and today we'll be exploring the abandoned Vanity Ballroom on the east side of Detroit here. This place went abandoned in the 1960s, I believe, and it's uh, basically a sister location to the uh, Grandy Ballroom, which we've already explored on this channel. Um, this place is in a lot more better shape, um, but there's still certain parts that are not really in good shape, but it is a very beautiful building, and we're taking you guys on the adventure today so I hope you guys enjoy. So we are starting off here as you can see this is the main uh, area. Today we're gonna to be joined by Pond Top Jackson. He does a lot of urban exploring in the Detroit region as well. He's done a lot more buildings than me. <laughs> and uh, we uh, did a little video at the uh, Grandy earlier. A little more footage. Uh, and then we uh, not, and now we're at the Vanity. So it's really cool. This place is in a lot better shape than the Grandy. You can see how the uh, curtain's still there. A lot of the um, stuff is still intact here, as you can see. The, uh, this is a uh, Spanish Aztec revival building, as opposed to the Vanity Spanish Mediterranean revival building. Uh, characteristic for architecture. Stage is a lot more better in shape, besides this little corner piece here. But, um, it, you know, this all, I mean, I'm just going to sound cheesy, but this almost reminds me of the uh, jungle temples in Minecraft back in the day. <laughs> they don't really have them too much. I mean, they never spawn into Minecraft no more, but um, it reminds me of that. And it's very, it's a very unique building, and it's still actually in really good shape. I mean, I mean we'll go around it more, but these heads uh, on the thing here, well, I was trying to zoom in on some of them, but most of those are still intact, which is amazing. Because, like, <laughs> it's, well, I mean, I think you said, uh, Pine Top, that um, this was used in the, into the 90s, I think, right? Yes. But it was mainly used in the 60s. So you want to tell them about kind of how... <laughs> uh, so this building was built a couple years after the Grandy Ballroom was built. And uh, they both did big bands, jazz bands, swing dancing. And then uh, in the 50s and 60s, fell on hard times because kids stopped going out dancing to big bands anymore. It wasn't the thing. Uh, they both tried to reinvent themselves a couple of times. Uh, they, it was used for storage for the stores downstairs. Um, the Grandy took on, you know, turned into Detroit's hottest nightclub. Uh, the, owner, the owner brought bands in from, uh, from England, Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, Janis Joplin, The Who. But uh, this place didn't have any of that success. This place uh, stayed mostly vacant. They reopened once a weekend for uh, nostalgic swing nights for old people to come and relive their youth. Um, then in the 90s, some, some people bought in, tried to uh, bring some rock and roll acts. Uh, you know, MC5 played here, of course. They played everywhere in Detroit. Ted Nugent played here. But there was nothing of the, the storied success, the, the legendary bands that played at the Grande. But still, I mean, it's, it's a beautiful building. It's incredible. Look at those, those architecture details. Just weird, weird Aztec, like vibrant, flamboyant. It's, it's crazy. I love it. <laughs> I do too. And the roof's in a little bit better shape. Uh, I just noticed this little uh, chandelier here in the middle. That is, mm -hmm. look at that. It kind of mirrors the, the big architectural thing we saw in the Grandy. Mm -hmm. Only there's glass instead of yeah. uh, plaster molding. Well... Well, I think Aztec, you know, I mean, you know, they're a lot more about the glass and the stone and stuff aspect of stuff. Mediterranean's more about the, um, the, like, <laughs> Yeah, I get your vibe. Right? Yeah. Now, when I was talking, you'll be able to edit out all my ands and ums and make well. it sound stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, you know, this is, this, this is what it would look like uh, playing out on the thing. Uh, as you can see, this is all stone right here, I think, right? No, that's wood. Oh, that's wood. Well, it looks like stone. <laughs> but, you know, the, the, but the Grandy Ballroom has this same idea, too, where it's like this detail on the stage. It's very, very unique. Um, as I've said, the roof's still in very much good shape for what it is. Um... Tell where the roof is gone is where the floor is also gone. Yeah, well, yeah, well, you can see the floor beam, so you wouldn't want to step out on there. But um, it's kind of like that same idea with the Grandy Ballroom, where you kind of want to stay on this U shape because that's where the stable ground is. So I guess we will um, continue on for here and go to the other, uh, this little U shape here, and show you guys that. 
Uh, this is my first ever time being in here. As I've said, me and uh, Pine Top, we did the Grandy earlier. So we decided we were like, well, I'll show you the Grandy. You show me the Vanity. Good trade-off. <laughs> yeah. Both beautiful ballrooms. They were the last two ballrooms in Detroit, uh, if I'm correct, right? That I know of. Yeah. It's contested which one it was the last ballroom in Detroit, but most people agree it's the Grandy, but um, some sources do say it's the Vanity. But they were both in the 1960s, which most of them did not last into the 60s. I don't know when the exact date of most of them went abandoned, but a lot of them weren't really. Probably the 50s or the 40s even, because that's when Detroit started falling off. So... Um, you can see the stage here, very, very nice, uh, you still have, that's another thing with uh, Aztec and uh, Mayan stuff, is this little, um, see, see, see how it kind of like, like the, uh, like it's a very sharp angle, okay. like 90 degrees, yeah. a lot of, I mean you can see here, a lot of this stuff is like perfect squares or perfect rectangles, you know, that was another big uh, Aztec and Mayan thing. Um, but man, <laughs> there's another one of the lights up there. It's just immaculately designed. I mean, man, this is. What else do you got to say about this building? <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you still haven't been in the basement or nothing like that. Me, me and uh, Pine Top, we went into the um, into the basement of the Grandy. Um, I got a little bit of footage in there, so I guess I'll throw it in this video, maybe. I don't know. I'm planning on making a comparison video between this. And, I mean, it might already be up on my channel. Who knows? Go check it out if it is. But, or you're going to compare the Vanity and the Grandy? Well, you know, like basically showing like what each of them were important-wise, you know? But it, by, by, probably by the time this video is up, it'll probably be, I don't know how I'm going to do the order, but... They'll, but they'll be going up around the same time, so most likely if you're watching this video, it's probably up as well. So, <laughs> this way we went back, yeah, right, we went, did we go, yeah, we went yeah I don't want to, I don't want to go a new route. <laughs> I don't want to go a new route if I don't have to. <laughs> that does not sound very fun to me. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. So just like the, uh, the Grandy, there's bathrooms over here, you didn't notice that before. Yeah. Bathrooms on either side of the stage. Well, those ones are not even. Look at these There's guys. not even a wall no more there. Well, there's big marble slabs left. Watch yourself. There's a hole right there. Yeah. Well, it's probably just plumbing holes. Yeah. You said those are marble. Yeah. Really. Isn't it? And they still got uh, blow dryers too. Uh, well, those are uh, paper towel. Oh, really? Oh, they look like blow drivers. I don't know. I guess I'm too young. I'm too used to blow dryers. <laughs> oh, they're like they're like spinning. Yeah. I ain't never seen anything like that before. <laughs> this one, this one's a lot more open than the Grandy too. The Grandy had a lot more walls. This one's more like wide open. Is that just me or? Yeah, it, it's a lot more wide open than the Grandy. Like the Grandy had a lot more walls and stuff like that up here. But both these buildings are very, uh, there's a lot of hidden detail in these buildings that have been covered up through decay over the last, uh, well, that'd be 60 years, just about. Well, the Vanity, you know, that's into the 90s, kind of. But the Grandy, you know, um, there's a lot of hidden details in the Grandy that you, you really just got to see it to really experience it. Um, a video doesn't really capture. I mean, there's just some things that videos just can't capture. Um, but I mean, it's just beautiful in here, though. I can't even I can't even describe <laughs> how nice it is in here for an abandoned building, especially. But I do like as much as I do, well, you know, I like the, the pillars better on the Grandy Ballroom, obviously, with the little spindly uh, things. But I really love these heads, though, on the uh, 
vanity wall, right? I mean, those are like, I mean, I mean, this has been abandoned for how long? And it, things are still in perfect shape, which is incredible. Well, well, not really perfect shape, but um, they're very, very good for an abandoned building. Um, I would say there's a little bit more graffiti in this place as opposed to the um, Grandy Ballroom. But it's not by much. Not, not at all. You can kind of see this goes down to the shops area, which we'll go down there in a little bit. we got to find Pine Top again. <laughs> Make sure he uh, doesn't get lost. Well, he's already been in here a couple times, so he's not going to get lost. But you get what I'm saying. <laughs> but there he is. He's, yeah, he's taking pictures. <laughs> he's admiring the beauty of the building as well. Because with buildings like this, there's just not really. It's hard to describe just how arc. Like how beautifully architectural the uh, design these buildings were at one point. I mean, this place has sat abandoned for over 30 years, and even then it was only minor use at that point. But the fact that you can still see the beauty of this building, even after being abandoned for over 30 years, is just really incredible. Like a lot of these buildings in Detroit, you know, it's you know you can't really, you know, I mean you can't really see their beauty still, but with this, it's still all here for the most part, with minor differences, but um, what I will say about this building too is how. Um, I don't know, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> but I mean I mean I mean I mean I mean I mean it's just incredible. I mean this building's really nice for what it is. But there is obviously some signs of decay uh, for what it is. Uh, but definitely the grandy is in a lot worse shape, which is unfortunate. But it still has its well, well you know both of them still have their as I said, very big architectural charm for Detroit. Um, one day it's likely they'll, they'll be demolished. Um, Millions of dollars to fix this. Oh, yeah. It's likely they'll get demolished at one point, both of them. I'd say the Grandy would go first, unfortunately. Yeah, they're holding on to it. The church owns the Grandy, and they want... Yeah, like three million for it. <laughs> Who owns this building? The city. Real okay, 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 okay. So this is not even. Well, if the city owns it, you know, what what a uh, division of the city owns it? L land bank or? No, no, not the land bank. Yeah, because land bank either they either fix it. Yeah. Or they. Tear it down. Yeah, <laughs> and it becomes the vacant lots of Detroit. But uh, I guess if you want to go down to the uh, first floors, we could do that. There's not as many holes in the vanity as there is in the grandy, but there's still, it's still quite a bit. Um, amazingly, the stage area is very well intact, um, which, I mean, you know, we didn't get our initial reaction because we were figuring out where we are going to do the intro at, but... I, well, I mean, you know, when I first, I mean, you know, uh, Pine Top, he can vouch for me. When I first walked in here, I was amazed by the stage and this little corner piece because this is where we came up here. Um, how many times have you been in here before? Uh, twice, I think. Twice. Third time. third time. Well, I've been in the Granny three times now, too, so. <laughs> but, I mean, just to, like, walk in from these stairs right here and see this. That was. <laughs> is that you or? Oh no no. No no okay oh, no, okay. <laughs> yeah, I think your disclaimer on your YouTube channel is, like, we uh appreciate the graffiti, but we do not practice yeah. the art or something like that. Yeah. Seen it. I live here. Go home. Hey Pine Top. Yeah. Go home. I live here. <laughs> what? What is that? You know these guys were rude. 
I don't know. But old timey, uh, not old timey, but I can old leave school. My, I can uh, leave my business card too. Yeah. You have a little sticker, I think. You put some. Uh... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I'll take one. There we go. <laughs> That's what's up. All right. Well, I guess let's go downstairs and check that out. You can see here, too. It's similar to the Granny Ballroom. Uh, let me turn this up here. Very, very nice stairs. Um, the Grandy has uh, granite stairs. These look these look like they're granite too, but they have a little stripe design to fit with the uh, Aztec theme, which is very uh, interesting. I don't know how much this flashlight's charged, but let's hope we make it through, right? <laughs> this video is already longer than the Grandy, so. As uh, Pine Top, you know, I asked Pine Top earlier, I was like, so which one do you like better, right? And he's like, well, you know, I like the Vanity better, but I like the Grandy better for the history. So, I think that, uh, it speaks for itself. I think, well, I mean, you, know, you know, now seeing the Vanity for the first time, I think I can agree with him on that. But the Grandy is, you know, you can't beat both of them. You know, it's just, <laughs> both of them are immaculate pieces of architectural history as uh, you'll probably agree pine top yes they, they complement each other um the for the west side, the east side. well yeah because they were basically as i think i said in the beginning they're basically sister locations to each other um so it's very incredible that both of them are still here for what it is um this is all concrete too, so we're all good here. But I think, as you said, you know, there used to be a um, a furniture store down here because there's still furniture here. So just like the Grandy, there was shops in here, and one of the shops Pine Top thinks is uh, was a furniture store because there's what a whole bunch of furniture in here. So and we could probably go out, yeah, you know, right here. Let's see here. AAP experience. Okay. Whatever that is. Let me go out here. Let me turn down my ISO here for you guys. So, what's over here? Well, this would have been, yes, this is the, uh, whoa. <laughs> Hold on, here we go. So, this is the front of the building here. Um, very nice. Especially that architectural detail on the top. I mean, look at that. It almost looks like they've. Because those are artificial right there. A little. <laughs> paper windows there. Which, is, which is interesting why they would do that. I don't know. Okay. So, what do you got for the story of those windows? So when you go back outside, you can take some photos of it and then like have the photos over top of my talking. Yeah. Uh, so those windows were put up, those paper windows were put up when they were doing some kind of beautification of the east side, the uh, Chalmers, Jefferson neighborhood, or some neighborhood association. They tried to clean it all up and make it look nice, and it looks pretty pretty cheesy, I think. Well. <laughs> paper windows. It still looks nice, though, for what it is. So you said there's a basement in here just like the Grandy Ballroom, right? You know, I want to go in there. Where? That pool right there, I haven't been in that park. Every time I come here, I think, I want to go over there, but then after I'm done upstairs, I'm ready to just go. <laughs> I think I gotta check that out this time. Well, these buildings are really small buildings for Detroit, the Grandy and the Vanity, but they're. It's hard to pass up their beauty yeah. as architectural pieces. Um, some of the biggest. Um, Some of the most, I guess, well, if you're going to say population density, some of the most architectural density in a building <laughs> um, 
inside of these two structures here. They're only basically two stories tall, but it is incredible just how much detail uh, Charles Argery uh, put into these buildings when he built them in the uh, 1920s. And he said this is built three years later after the Grandy, right? So it would have been, what, 31? Well, that, that doesn't look too good. <laughs> Whoa. This. There's the basement. <laughs> Looks like it was almost like a fire. Well, let, me, let, me, let me hop in there for the video here. What the? Let me turn on my finger so you guys can see it good. This is a, uh, wow. There probably is some way into this basement, though. Well, hopping down, obviously. We ain't, uh, <laughs> we ain't hopping down from there. Man. This is really incredible. You know... They say some of these buildings, you know, you get to see a piece of history that almost nobody else gets to see with some of these buildings, you know, which is why I always tell people of urban exploring, you know, it's always like, you know, I get to see stuff that almost nobody else gets to see. A small percentage of the population. Yeah. And it's, I mean, I mean, I mean this proves it. Well, 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 I mean, well, not this part, but <laughs> upstairs. upstairs, it's like, you just can't, what's that? This part, too, served a valuable purpose in the community that time. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, this is the shop area, and you said that these shops still operated up until, uh, I mean, even after the ballroom closed. Up and on, it was always a challenge. People were struggling, trying to start up their business and struggling to keep it around. Yeah. Well, that's part of the downfall of Detroit in the... Uh, 80s but yeah, this is like that series where you gotta navigate around till you look like a fucking retard until here we go right here is that it We don't get the luxury of our railing, it doesn't look like. <laughs> but at least the stairs are clean for the most part. So let's do it. Well, not as nice as the granny's basement, but still really incredible though. Got more of the Aztec uh, theme in there. You see the little squares. Oh my god. Somebody did the little S. Oh yeah. <laughs> the little, uh, what do they call it? The universal S or something? What do they call that? I forgot what they call that. It's on the same level as like the fifth grade theme. <laughs> <laughs> Let me focus this up better for you guys here so you guys can see it better. There we go. I think this is the part we're not. This, this is the part where it collapsed, or not? Well, the floor or whatever. I don't I know. Think we're away from that part. Oh really? Well, somebody put their phone number up. If somebody wants to call it. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb has one. Okay, well we're not going to finish off that because I don't want to get demonetized. I want to get my six dollars from this video. What's in there? You get six dollars from videos. I get thirty cents. Some of them do. Some of them do. Yeah. It just it just depends. Depends on how much watch time it gets. That Sears made about I think six. The uh, depends. Well, I mean you'll know this from being a YouTuber as well. Um, also, yeah, uh, we'll have his channel linked down in the description down below as well. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> What's that? I, I was telling the viewers that I was yeah, I have your uh, channel linked down below. Oh yeah. So they want to check you out, Pine Top Jackson. He makes a lot of good videos. He's done a lot more explorations than me. He has a little more balls. He goes in the schools as well. I don't do that shit. <laughs> I 
See, just like the Grandy's basement, well, I mean, I know we didn't explore the Grandy's basement uh, during our initial exploration, um, but this, but you know, kind of reminds me of the Sears uh, in a way, because this building, uh, well, both of them, they have like that maze-like structure that the Sears had, where you can just, you know, there's like no end to it just about, which is very, very, very cool in abandoned buildings where there's just, oh, <laughs> where there's just like no end to this seemingly endless um, building, you know? I mean, this, I mean, this is only two stories in the basement, <laughs> which is really crazy just how much you could pack into, as I said, with these kind of buildings, how much you could pack into a building of this size. What is this over here? This is, oh, a lot of mud down here for what it is. You feel that? What's that? What? Oh, you know, what was that, like mouthwash or? I think so. Left. <laughs> you, need to, you need to wash your mouth, boy. Okay, let me. There we go. What's through here? This is. So we still have a lot more to this basin because there's that one part where. So those are the stairs we came down, which means that they should. The place that we. With well, the fallen stuff should be somewhere over here, right? In theory. You would think. Yeah. Mm hmm Well, I guess let's verify it. <laughs> See what we got. Yeah, because well, I remember that little shaving cream can. Yep. There's a wall separating it. So. But. There's not really much else to this building. But. I mean the fact that we've gotten 27 minutes out of a two story building. I mean that's just incredible. But. Um. If you guys did enjoy this video and you like to see more, do more content like this, make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to go check out Pine Top Jackson on YouTube. He makes and he, and he even does guitar stuff too on his uh, main main channel, Pine Top Jackson. Well, he has Pine Top Jackson and Pine Top Jackson too. So he does. He's pretty well versed in the YouTube space for what it is. Um, does amazing exp or urban exploration content. So make sure to go check him out. And uh, yeah, besides that, uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.